Hey there guys, it is Josh C with Steppel and welcome back to Deadly Premonition Blind. Last time it was very frustrating, but we did it. We fished. This time we have to see Harry again. And now some things are happening. Oh, fuck you, game. Oh. Okay. These girls, Zach. Do you see the resemblance? Yes. Anna. Becky. She looks like Diane. And that looks and like... Carol. Zach, look. Emily? Emily. Okay, not going back. We just had the vines. Oh, that's a lot of gunk. Oh, first aid kit. I thought it was actually going to be important. And this is probably not going to be important either. High quality beef? I'll take it. Alright, there's no... No doors. So we're going through this one. Okay. That explains it. We'll make sure it works. That... That was short work. They're the only doors that freed? Yep. Okay. Let's move on. Well, I know where we're going next. What, what does the map look like? We could go into these rooms. There are plenty of locked places. This is where we have to go. Let's... Let's just see. I like, I'm pretty sure it's locked. Or not. So, but what would be the point? There's so many rooms in this house. They can't all be important. Okay. Where? I hear him. I don't see him. Look, I'm gonna stand in the center of that and they're all gonna turn into fucking ghosts. Oh. Nope, they just appear. Okay. Whoa, what's going on with him? Is that his hair or his hand? Oh, God! You know he was gonna be there. 
bamboozle. I was going to be cool and just keep firing in a circle. Then he had to go and hit me. Dick. Hello? So... Could I have not... Come that way? I guess not? What the fuck? Did y'all hear a dog howl, or was that was that actually real? Okay, well you can fuck off with this. I have never bolted that fast. <laughs> okay, let's save real quick. Ooh, something in the bathtub. Bait. I'll, uh, put it away. How's this suit doing? Starting to get dirty. We got the blue one. Oh, looking good, you're... Looks like it's getting dirty. Um... Nah, I'll keep wearing what I got. Okay, time to deal with whatever is out here. Don't you do it again. And we're outside. Oh, I knew it. What's this? Oh, first aid kit. Small. Let's... Top off my health. Then we can just take it. Right. You're getting shot. Amazing. Right, and so are you. Why does it feel like, despite taking shortcuts? Oh, shit. Is this gonna hurt? Okay, well, it didn't seem to hurt. But uh, as I was saying, why does it feel like despite taking shortcuts, I'm having to go the long route? Quick work. That's how I like it. 
I don't want to go down that way. But damn it, I bet you I do. Shit. I do. All right. Gonna end him right then and there. I don't feel like dealing with that. Oh, look at you! I told you! I don't feel like dealing with that. Don't be pulling that shit. Which way am I going? All right, well that opens that locked room. But where where was that? All right, so this is where I started, the big old room. What room is this? Okay. All right, enough of that. Really? Huh. Oh, more Magnum. I get the feeling there are more guns that I have yet to own. All right, let's find out where this takes me. Okay, which way? That's locked. That's locked. I don't even know where the fuck I'm going. I don't feel like any of this is going to be important. So, let me, uh... Let me just kind of loop around. Oh! Oh, now I know where I am. Okay. And, yep, it's locked. Alright, so it's locked from the other side. Okay. Now I know where I am. I'm in the second chamber where I had to solve... The... The move in the statues. Okay. I get it now. I'm, I'm reoriented. Let's go out and deal with whatever is out here. Okay, where well they're not... They're not on their tracks anymore. Didn't see that coming. Can they reach me? I don't get the feeling they can. Unless they go up the steps. This may be the best spot to be. You know, if uh, if, if, if she doesn't 
Get here first. Well, that one felt more intense, at least. Have any other spoils? Just this one? Oh, that's it. Okay. Now this should... Maybe not this way. Because this is where we need to go, I'm pretty sure. Because that's where I, I met Harry last time. Let's just loop around and see if we can't unlock that door, just in case. And it probably wouldn't hurt to save. Just as a precaution. So I am, I am really betting on being able to unlock this door. Why, why was the camera pushing up, huh? Nothing's gonna be up there. At least something better not be up there. What about this room? Was there... This is the closet. This is the one with all those clothes in it. Is there anything else besides these? This... This wasn't here last time. Was it? Okay, let me shoot her. Let me shoot her. Come on, game, let me shoot her. So... Oh, that's it. It's a first aid kit. Alright. Well, at least that is now open. So we can go back through there fairly quickly. If we wanted to. Honestly, probably going the way we went first is going to be faster. Let's just actually look. I mean, yeah, because here we'd have to go all the way around. Here we can just cut through. And then move up. Real quick, what's with the toilet? Go away? Oh! Well, look at that. Got a flare. Right? We should still be good here. So far I have no evidence that previous areas that I've already cleared change. So I'm gonna operate under that assumption. What? Emily! 
At times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Stop! Zack, did you see that? I did. I must be getting tired. Are you? I haven't been keeping up with his... No, you're doing fine. At least you should be doing fine. Why do I feel like the camera is actually pretty far back? Okay. We got two buttons. But which one do we press? I meant to hit observe. Okay, press both of them. Yep, it was that simple. Now, how does that work? Fuck off. What you looking at, York? I suppose you can get away with this if you own most of the town. Harry! You're actually you! How can you exist here, Harry? Zack, looks like we're out of the countryside and back in civilization. Turns out the town is a complete computer simulation. That can't be good. Welcome. brought the documents. Just what is going on in here? I warned you about haste. Take it slow. You'll lose sight of what's important if you just rush past it. As an agent of the FBI, I'm sure you know. So many people have got it all wrong. They think speed is the key. That being first is the best. Speed and are satisfied with what the speed brings, even if it means that they miss so much on the way, they don't even see that. I see everything that they don't. From here, I see it all. Then, when the time comes, I make use of what I've seen. I can get whatever I want in this way, anything at all. You're certainly talkative today, Harry. Very talkative. But I didn't come here for a business lecture. Tell me everything you know. Speed is not important. Timing is what is important. Timing. York, 
You have a natural gift for waiting for the correct timing. It has something Just to do with be the uh, clock. Your haste does not ruin everything. That will be vital to solving the current case at hand. York, I know more than you think, but less than what you hope. So just tell me what you think. One, you have Nick in custody. Two, Thomas is missing. Three, Carol has a locket that belongs to the murderer. I also know that this case revolves around the Red Seeds. <laughs> but, but why are you investigating it as well? So you've got an inside line on police information. Is Thomas your guy? information really well. You hacked into the FBI network, too. Amazing. But I didn't come here to hear this. Then let us close the business seminar. It's time for a history lesson instead. Yes. Let's hear it. I remember it as though it were yesterday. And that's why you're bound to a wheelchair? Because you fell? Curious child. I saw it being constructed day after day. I'm not sure why, but I was really drawn to the tower in some way. And that's why I knew. From the pit in the theater, there's a path to the clock tower. They were just cleaning up after the party, so it was easy to get into the theater. I used the secret passage to sneak. Is the military? fat man we've ever met. When I got outside again, the purple fog was spreading. I covered my nose and mouth and ran home. I unconsciously counted the number of times the bell rang. After the twelfth time, the bell did not stop ringing. It rang a loud thirteenth time.
following morning, I awoke surrounded by dead bodies. It wasn't raining anymore, and the purple fog was gone. I couldn't believe what I saw and what I myself had done. But even worse things were waiting for me when I got home. My mother was dead. Killed, presumably, also by my father. The next day, the town was overrun by military personnel. That's when the gag order was issued. Talking about the incident was unappreciated, a taboo. But even still, people stopped going outside when it rained. Country folk are very patriotic. We never tell our children about what happened. But these things find a way out of even the tightest of lips, in parts. People only speak of the killer in the red raincoat which is where the legend of the raincoat killer comes from. Quite a story. After the incident, the gas seeped into the soil. And that's town. why whenever it rains, the this shit happens. Rains, a minute amount is released. That's why I never take my mask off when I'm outside. This town is dirty, York. If what you say is true, killer is someone who is badly affected when it rains. You need to draw the conclusions, not I. I have no conclusions. Is there a connection between the red seeds and the gas, then? This is just my own presumption. The seeds and the gas have a similar effect on our nervous systems. I believe someone figured that out and decided to it. Or it could just be nature's way of getting back at us humans. Thomas? Good news. You found him. Businessman, you must be after something in return for giving me this information. York, at times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist, even if it means losing someone what? that you love. But that still does not justify murder. Remember this everything changes in form. There isn't a single thing that can maintain its shape for eternity. Overlook this fact. You'll be making a big, big mistake. Okay. That's a lot of backstory. Emily! York! We found Thomas! Ah. He's at his house, right? How did you know that? Timing, Emily. Good timing. Ugh, whatever. Just get in. George is heading over there already. Let's get a move on. Zach, things are finally starting to come together. All we need now is for Thomas to fill in the blanks in our new legend. It's raining. I don't like that.
Can I? I can't. I can't get out of the car. So we are heading to Thomas's. And I can actually take the shortcut because this has, oh my, no damage done to it whatsoever. So, uh, if any important conversations happen, you know I'll cut back, but uh, if not, I will see you guys in a second when we get to Thomas's. Okay, we are here. George, what's happening? We received an anonymous call informing us that Thomas returned home. I sent Emily to get you right away. No idea who made the call? No. That's why I came on ahead, to see if the information was correct. A light did come on, but only for a second. I saw a tall male silhouette in the window. Well, we saw Thomas. Carol. Okay. I'm going in then. You two wait here. We'll be ready to burst in at any moment. Just call out. Zack, it's the same in the countryside after all. The climax of an investigation is always in an apartment. Is this the climax of the investigation? Turn the needle to hear. Was that Carol? Too much noise. There's still maybe turn off the music piece of the puzzle. Oh shit. Oh no. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay, a lot of shit has happened. I'm gonna tackle that next episode. I'm gonna head there right now, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you there.